What's going on everybody? So today I'm here to talk to you about the Rode Wireless Go again. I know everybody's making videos about how to use this thing. This is how I like to use it. First, I like to set it up on my GoPro. Now I got this little cool cage, I wanna call it, but it's, it mounts the um, adapter underneath this little plate. You see it's all in one. And then I take the Rode Wireless Go and plug it in there. I can't do that right this second because I am using the Wireless Go as my audio uh, for my voice coming into my Focusrite interface. And then out of that, I'm going into my Sony a6500. Cool thing is, I know how hot or how loud I am because of the audio gauge. I can hear it, I can see it bouncing, I can watch it. Now when I'm vlogging, what I like to do is I take this Put it on here, plug this in, of course, and walk around. I used to do this in a different way. I would take um, the Rode Video Mic Go, Micro, yeah, this little guy, and I would plug him in there, and I'd be walking around. The problem with this, you see that? Everybody's looking at that. What is that thing on the top of your camera? They would say, what is that thing? And I would have to explain to them that I'm blocking a lot of wind. This little setup, you ain't gotta worry about that. You take the wireless go, slide it under there. Of course, the cable's not there. All good to go. And nobody's wondering, oh, where's the microphone? The microphone is right here. This is all you need to vlog minus this little black cable. But this would get plugged into the um, GoPro adapter and it'll get plugged into the wireless Go. This would go on your shirt. Vlogging all day long, vlogging. And it's, you don't even have to talk that loud or anything. I've tested this thing at the beach. I've tested this thing at um, crowds. I was at Universal Studios walking around. It sounds perfect. This little guy, are you kidding me? This slides onto the top of my A6500, my GoPro. I use this now nonstop. This little setup, I charged it twice at Universal Studios because um, I didn't want it to die. And basically I went from 11 to six and was filming that whole time with this thing on. I only stopped to eat. And while I was eating, I basically took this anchor. And since it's USB-C, because my GoPros are USB-C, charged this guy and it's got two ports in it. So I took another GoPro cable and charged the other end. They're both USB-C. They, really, they charge really quickly. So if you are in the market for a video microphone, that's small and compact, and you're not trying to have this thing <clears throat> bouncing all day. Take this guy, and that's it. So, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to hear some examples. I did a range test in uh, Palos Verdes. It's pretty good. Um, as long as you don't turn your back to the uh, transmitter, because basically these things need to see each other. If anything is blocking them, the body, um, it's gonna lose signal. But even that, it comes back really fast. It connects back really fast. So yeah, I'm loving this setup. Let me know what you think. Comments below. Peace.